Welcome to on print shop. In this video, we will show you version 6.3 storefront upgrades. There are several major upgrades. So we will discuss one by one. First one is two step authentication via email. In this one, if a customer is registering on the website, so after registering, he will not be able to log in directly. He will get an email. Uh, and if he clicks on the link, which is provided in email, then only he will be able to log in. So we will see how it works. If a customer is registering on the website, let's say I have filled, put all the details. If I go and click on submit button. So here there will be a note comes and you will get an email. So here is the email. If you click on that link, then only you will be able to log in. Once you will click on that link, then you can log in here. So you just need to go on login and you just need to put your details in the login tab and you will be directly able to log in. Without clicking on that link, you cannot be able to log in. That is the first upgrade. Now, the second one is additional template filters. So we have given one additional template filter which is related to color and it will be available for product templates. Now how it works. So very first if we will go into the admin, if you go into the templates, product templates. So we have created three product templates with different different colors and if I click on action, edit info. So here you can see select color. So this is the one new template filter is available. So whatever color you want to uh, you want to add, you can click over here and you can add those colors. After adding those colors, you can just assign the template. Okay, and how it works at the front end. So let I show you. So here. You can see there are three templates with the different different and there are search by colors. So these are the filters available. If I will select red color, it will only show the red template. So this is the additional template filter. Then moving ahead, save user design from studio. If a customer is in design studio and if he so if a customer is in the design studio and if he is doing some work and due to any reason if he has to leave the design studio so if he has before leaving the work if he has clicked on save button so this design will be saved in the uh, customers my portfolio section so whenever he will come back again he will find it into the my account section so I will just show you if I if I click on back button so he will any of the time he will go into the my account section and if you will go to the my portfolio so he will be able to see his designs and he can uh, he can continue with this same design wherever he has left it before the fourth one is skip additional information page while ordering so in this one we can skip the additional information page previously we were having after the design studio we were having a product additional information page so how it can be set if you go into the product let's say standard business card so just go into the product setting and it can run by product by product so you need to do setting for each and every product so here in the product setting there is a skip additional information page if it's enabled then if we will see the product at front end so here if we will go directly onto the product page if you follow the process and if we click on continue button so instead of landing on additional information page it would be direct land on the shopping cart so you can see this is the directly into the shopping cart now moving ahead the fifth one is redesigning breadcrumbs with link so previously we were having a lot of breadcrumbs with the with without any link let's say right now you can see home and shopping cart so in the shopping cart it is showing like that so right now we have arranged it in very uh, 
proper way so if you go into the admin if you go into the uh, content management so there is breadcrumbs available so right now we are having only five flows breadcrumb flow types one is product flow so in the product it will be like this if you don't want any on product flow you can disable it from here you can uncheck from here now it can be set according to you so right now we have multiple patterns for it if you want to see which patterns we have you can check here so there are multiple arrow signs and there are lots of seven to eight styles available so you can select all these styles from the store configuration settings if you go into this store configuration if you go into this store configuration settings if you type here breadcrumbs so you will see the breadcrumbs you can select this which kind of breadcrumbs you want and there is also one more setting like you want it with link or without link or above page heading and below page heading so you can also manage it from here so right now it's available one is this one it is with link if you go into any of the product page let's say product if I select the standard business card so there are how it is working so this is home commercial pending business card and standard card so now these are the clickable link if I click on the home page I will be directly onto the home page so on which page you want breadcrumbs and which style breadcrumbs you want you can design it according to you now the sixth one is range base with multiplication pricing in custom size products so how it works let us show you now if we choose a custom size banner and the this upgrade in this upgrade we are just adding the quantity you can set the pricing according to the quantity base as well so previously we are we were not having the quantity based pricing so how it was working previously let's say if a customer he has he wants to place the order for 5 by 2 so the area will be 10 the one quantity price will be $20 if he is placing order for two quantity so it will be it will be $40 and so on let's say if he wants to place order for 10 quantities so the pricing would be $200 and it's a $20 unit price now if he wants to customer wants to place order for 100 quantities so he need to pay $2000 and unit price remains same so right now we can reduce that unit price if a customer is placing order in bulk how can you configure that for that just go into the admin let's say this product action and price here what we have defined we have defined the four ranges of the area 5 square feet to 12 square feet we are charging two dollar per square feet now if customer will place order according to it it will be unit price remains same for one quantity or for thousand quantities so to overcome that problem we have created the quantity based pricing as well so you don't need to do anything previously how it is working you just need to add the quantity based pricing over here so how it works you need to click on quantity base so whatever ranges you have created that all ranges will be shown over here so you need to select one by one range for to set quantities for each and every range let's say we are selecting in between five square foot to 12 square foot then if a customer is placing order in between 100 quantity to 150 quantity you were charging two dollars previously now if he will place order from 100 to 150 we were charge we are charging here 1.5 dollar per square foot and if you will customer will place order 151 to 200 we are charging 1.2 per square foot pricing so how it affects if you go on banner and you just need to click on save button and if you go on front store if you will put pricing here 99 if you will select here 99 so the per unit price is 20 dollar till 99 quantities but when you put 100 quantity it will be 15 dollar per unit so it can be dependent on the quantity if you will put 200 so it would be according to the one dollar instead of so it's a 12 dollar according to 1.2 dollar and the pricing will be reduced so this is the custom size price enhancement now the next one is order count wise coupon discount so previously we were not having any counting system in the coupon code counting means let's say if a customer is placing first order so he has to get a special discount well he is placing the order first order let's say he is getting 50% discount if he is placing second order if you want to give them 20% discount on third order 
you want to give them 10% discount so you need to create coupons according to the count like order count so right now we have enhanced this one how it works let's go into the admin if you go into the admin go to the orders coupon and discount section now we have already created that coupon now if you click on action and edit so I will show you the same things it will the window will remain same we have just added one thing is that is order count so here you can put the order count order count zero means the first order if you will see over here we have mentioned here as well set zero to apply coupon for first order set one for the second order and so on so this coupon code whatever you are creating it will be applicable only and only when any whenever any of the customer is placing first order if he is placing second order then this coupon will not work so in the same way you can create coupons let's say for first coupon you are giving 50 percent discount so it you just need to select zero let's say if you want to give uh, discount 10 percentage from his second order from his second order so for second you need to put one to fifth order fourth so either he will place his second order third order fourth order and fifth order whatever coupon code you will give that will be available that will work only in that scenario so here you can work in the coupon uh, so here it will work according to the order count now the next one is offline payment method for specific customer what does it mean offline payment method let's say check or any other payment method which is not online so if you want to give a specific uh, the offline payment method to a specific customer like you don't want to give a let's say check option but you don't want to give to all your retailers you just want to give few of your specific customer so right now we have the facility that you can map a specific uh, you can map the payment method with the specific customer so how you can configure it just go into the admin just go to the payment methods to configuration payment methods let's see there is a check payment method which is disabled so whatever offline method you just need to add that offline payment method and you just need to make it disable then just go to the customer website customer here click on action add it and just map that payment option over here let's say check and save it so now customer can this customer can this specific customer can only see the check method for that how it is visible for to see that thing we are just going on the storefront and we'll try to place an order and in the shopping cart you can see uh, in the shopping cart you can see that thing so we are in the shopping cart so in the shopping cart and payment and shipping option you can see the check method but check we have made disable so it will be available only and only to this specific customer where you have mapped it in with the customer which you have mapped it so you can add offline payment method for the specific customer now we have some minor upgrades so we will discuss first one is banner and promotional message validity and promotional message for multiple pages so previously we were having banners and promotional messages but there is no validity like it will not automatically come on a particular date and it will not end at a particular date so right now we have given the duration option in the promotional message and banners so let me just show you how it works just go to the admin panel contain management banners If you click on action and add it so here we have added this button banner duration if you will enable it and you can select the date start date and select the end date so this banner will be visible in between these dates only and the same thing we have enabled for the promotional message as well if you go into the promotional message you will see the same button over there action add it and here is the promotional message duration so you can just enable this button and you can set the start date and end date so this promotional message will be pop up 
only and only in between this duration also we have one more upgrade in the promotional message previously if we want to set any of the promotional message so if it, there are multiple pages so we cannot set it for multiple pages like either we can set it for all pages or for a specific page but there is no option for multiple pages so right now we have enhanced that feature if I want to product page so previously there is a single link there is no checkbox option right now we have enabled the checkbox option over here so the same promotional message if you want to show on multiple pages you can show on uh, you can show on the multiple pages the same promotional message so these are two minor enhancements related to the promotional message and banners the next feature is direct login link from end user in email if a customer is placing any quotation request and if the admin send the quotation back so customer will get an email in the email there will be a link if a customer clicks on that link he will be directly login he don't need to use his username and password so how it works for let's say example if I have already placed a quotation over here quotation 48 so if now the admin whenever the admin will reply after placing the quotation I am just logging out from here and now as an admin if you are replying from the quotation so you will get an email so once the admin has provided the quotation the customer will get an email like this so right now I just show you we are not logging at any place like you can see there is we are not logging if I click on that link we will be directly logging you can see that as I will click in I don't need to log in by using my email ID and password that I will be directly into the quotation page and here we have already logged in so this is the new feature like by quotation you can by quotation email you can directly log in the next one reorder request flow enhancement so previously if we were want to reorder any order so there is no update like you just can reorder and it would be directly into the shopping cart you are not able to edit any of the quantity or any of the additional option it would be only reorder so right now we have the upgrade that either you can select while reordering the landing page should be uh, either you can select additional information page where you can change the quantities you can change the additional options or if you want like before a shopping cart so we have given that option product wise you just need to go into action into the product setting into the product setting and here you will see the reorder action either in shopping cart page and product additional info page so how it works if you go into the order my account order history so let's say we have set it as order product additional option and here if we click on reorder design so directly going into the shopping cart it is over here so you can change the quantities and additional options over here so this is the new upgrade the next one is kit product search in front store so we have uh, kit products available for retail store as well so we have already given you the link in the links header and footer under store personalization if you want to show as a header link but by chance if there is no link you are giving and if a customer wants to search kit product so if he will search on the front store let's say if we go on home page and in this search bar if customer will search kit product so there will be kit products available in the search box so previously the kit products are not showing in the search bar so as you will click on new kit product you will be directly on the kit products so here if a customer will put kit and if the in kit product you have mentioned kit so it will search the kit product as well then the next one is direct payment page enhancement and payment success page for standalone payment so what does direct payment page we have given an option in our system there is an online payment like if a customer wants to make any payment in reference with any order or standalone payment standalone means the payment without any order reference so we have updated this page what are the enhancements let's say if a customer wants to make any payment let's say for order reference order ID 105 and the payment is thousand hundred dollar and if you want to make the payment so there is an upgrade like payment processing fees would also be visible over here and it would be also charged over here 
so all the additional charges will also be visible and customer needs to pay otherwise what was happening previously if a customer is making direct payment so he's just making the amount the processing fees are remaining so whatever processing fees you have updated on the payment method that would be applicable over here so this is a direct payment page enhancement and one more upgrade was payment success page for Stenova. once the customer make the payment there was no acknowledgement page so right now we have uh, enable that uh, that acknowledgement page which you can find in the admin contain management contains we will put payment success so here is online payment success page so you can manage right now we have mentioned this thing in here thank you for the payment your payment request has been processed successfully or if you want to edit this page you can you can add it according to you so this page we have in enhanced in this feature now the next one is lazy load on browse design page so this is a site variable if you want to activate it you need to email us at support at the on print shop.com so what is lazy load on browse design if we go on front store if I go on the product of let's say standard business card and if we click on action runs and we choose browse design option so there are uh, templates which are opening over here so these are paging there is paging so once you will get scroll down so all the templates will open automatically without any paging right now here you can see the paging so instead of paging it will be automatically one as you will scroll down the the templates will be automatically shown up there will be no paging like no page numbering so this is the lazy load as you will get scroll down you will see you will be able to see all the templates together on a single page so this is the lazy load option but it would not directly available at your system this is a site variable you need to send us email at support at the rate on pin shop.com to activate this then the next and last one and minor enhancement uh, address validation in shipping method that will be available for only and only UPS shipping method so if a customer is adding a shipping address and it has some mistake or it is it it is wrong so UPS will guide and it will show the correct address so this is the minor enhancement updates if you have any concern you can catch us on support at the rate on print shop .com. Thank you.